Hi, this is Nate, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk hour. We're going to be reviewing Black Knight Sword of Rage Premium today. Uh, please look for a review underneath the description of our video, as well as like and follow us on Arcade and Pinball Talk on our social media formats, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that red subscribe button. If you like arcade, if you like pinball, if you like virtual pinball, we have every format on Arcade and Pinball Talk. That's what it's about. We do it all. Again, let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first on this table, the, the main difference between the premium and the pro is the fact that the premium has the upper play bill. Shoots pretty decently up there. Not a whole lot to shoot at though. All I need is a spark. Our work just like a pro looks good. I do like the back glass a little bit better on the premium. High ball out on these tables as you can tell. Three balls, two balls already down within the first minute. Table mechanics on this are in lane, two, left, right, out lane, left, right, spells out rage. Targets to the left, drop target, kick out, left lane to the far left. You have a uh, lane with a spinner, rollover going to the columns to the back. You have the black knight that you're battling with the mace that goes to the back there. And you have a little lane that kicks up at that point. You have a black knight with the mace, target middle, shield lock to the right of that, targets, and then another lane that goes all the way around to the columns, pop bumpers in the middle. Top Playfield has a flipper up there, so you got three flippers on this game. Uh, you have a little area where you have, uh, you know, basically it's lit up that you hit up there, trigger some events, light locks to the right of that, and that's really about it on the upper playfield. Uh, first things first, artwork looks good, theme is good, of course. It's Black Knight, it's a fun table. It's very fast, it's very aggressive. Music is good, just like the Black Knight Pro. Replayability on this is good. I think that uh, I think this is a fun table. It's very hard, obviously, because you're you're very heavy to the front of the playfield. And so, with that being said, it's very, it, you know the ball's coming back at you, and your propensity to ball out is very high on these Black Knight tables. Uh, do we like this better than the Pro version? Uh, what I will tell you is, so far, the playfield to the top, I don't really see the added benefit to that. That's just Arcade and Pinball Talk's personal opinion. We played a lot of these games. It's nice to have the play field up there, but I, I really think that the main focus is on the main play field. There's your orbit. And with that said, I mean, you know, that's that's our that's our opinion. That's pretty cool. So you go up to the lane where the mace is and that kicks it to the top of the play field. I do like that aspect. Replayability is, is definitely is definitely on this table. There's your kick out kicks up to the second uh, level as well. Very nice. So two areas where you can kick up to the top of the play field. Beautiful game. I mean, the premium game is very fun. Uh, we do prefer the pro better. Uh, that's just our opinion. Replayability is there. Fun factor is definitely there. I'd say still moderate to light, high difficulty. Just because of the, the play field being stacked more towards the front. I mean, you're battling the, the Black Knight for real. Uh, it is really stacked to the middle of the table. That means you have a lot of uh, opportunity to ball out. Because you're constantly hitting these pegs and targets in the front of the table. And uh, that obviously makes it quite a bit more difficult. Just like what I'm showing you right there. Peg, peg, peg. Three peg shots. And again, trying to time my shot, but peg again. So that's what makes these games a little bit more difficult. Lanes are a little light, a little smaller, and that also adds to the difficulty of the game. But yeah, look at the modes to the middle. You got basically, you basically have your Black Castle, Super Slings, Mud Bog, Super Targets, you know, Molten Fire, uh, Night lit up, so we got the K&N lit up already. And, uh, you know, that's where you're at. You got the magnet save button in the middle, and that is a little harder to hit if you're, that is a little bit harder to hit if you're, you know, battling the knight, which is probably the reason why it's in the middle of the apron there. Uh, let's just be truthfully honest. It makes it harder for you to take your hand off the flipper, which raises the wrist level. And I personally like that. Call outs are good on this. I mean, shots and layout are really good. I mean, it's a shooting table. It definitely has everything you're looking for in, in, a, in a good, fast, and furious table. 
Uh, replayability is there. Fun factor is absolutely there. So anyway, please look for the rest of our review metrics underneath our YouTube video under the description. There's a little triangle there. Click on it. You'll see a drop down. All of our metrics will be there. And uh, other than that, please click subscribe. Thank you again for watching today. We look forward to our next video with you guys.